Infamous back with a pre-Christmas update, and I'm going to start this one off with news regarding draft duels. Last week they put up draft duels for a couple hours to test the mode out, which from all the comments I've read and received turned out to be a success. You were able to play for free, however they cut the rewards down to a few hundred coin in a couple rookie packs. I didn't actually know this was going on until about 30 minutes before the test was supposed to end. So by the time I was able to log in and everything, I had about 20 minutes to play. Regardless, it didn't make a difference because both the times I attempted to play, my opponents chose to quit right after we got up to the lineup screen. So this test basically got abused for the two hours it was available. They let you go through three rounds of drafting and even though it was free to play, still allowed you to keep all the players that you drafted. So guys would go through, draft their players, and once they finished drafting, would quit the game and still receive players. It was because of this that I never got to actually play a game. I did receive the rewards both times, but the quits did not count towards my record. Never had any problems the first time I played, so really no input I have on what needs to be fixed with the mode. They put out a message a few days ago stating that the draft duels would not come back until after the first of the year. So those of you hoping to be able to play it come Christmas time, that won't happen. And speaking of Christmas, they have been releasing new content each day. Starting off with surprise, surprise, more puzzle pieces, as if we didn't see those coming. Currently, six different sets of puzzle pieces to collect. The Lions, Patriots, Bucks, Dolphins, Jets, and Chargers. The Lions gift has been revealed to be three-star Barry Sanders with three different boosts. Plus one to run block strength and footwork, as well as plus two to pass block. The Patriots gift was revealed to be a two-star Curtis Martin. Definitely was not expecting him to be the reward, especially after they just released 3-star Barry, but it is what it is. He comes with a plus 2 boost to catch. The Bucks gift is none other than 3-star Derek Brooks. Really too obvious who that reward was going to be. He comes with a plus 2 boost to play recognition. As far as the Jets present, we will find out tomorrow. I can tell you that it is supposed to be a new legend, and that new legend will not be a Jets Favre. At this point, it's hard to say who it will be, but with the reward being a legend, you can rule out a 3-star Revis. Even though I'm already tired of all these QBs, Joe Namath is a good possibility. The Dolphins and Chargers we won't find out until Christmas Day. Some say the Dolphins' reward will be Dan Marino, however I'm leaning more towards Jason Taylor. As far as the Chargers, there are a ton of different options they could go with. Apart from the obvious defensive players, Offensively, they could go with Sproles, Winslow, or LT, but we'll just have to wait and see who that reward ends up being. Along with these new collections, a bunch of new Ghost of Madden Pass cards have been released, including a couple limited editions. Of those limited editions is a 1-star Ed Reed numbered to 250. Of course, you guys know I had to pick this card up. Ended up paying 90 k for mine, which wasn't too bad. Would have rather his stats been like Madden 11's Christmas insert, or even the Golden Ticket seeing as how he was numbered to 250, but I guess it's not too bad for a 1-star card. If you guys didn't see last year's free safety reward read, he was pretty stacked. The other limited edition Ghost release was Falcon's Michael Vick. Even though he was numbered, he's not really a desirable card considering what other QBs we already have out there, so I didn't pick him up. Also, he's not at all comparable to last year's stacked QB collection reward. One star Champ Bailey was mistakenly released but was quickly taken out of packs. A few of them have popped up on the AH. He will be released again sometime soon. Of all the Ghost cards released, the toughest one to obtain by far is the 3 star Deion Sanders. They released him the same night as the limited edition Vic. Of the hundreds or even thousands of packs that were pulled that night, no one was able to pull him up until 10.30 in the morning the next day when I seen one pop up on the AH. Ironically, at the same time, EA also put out the new set of 2.0 team collections. So a lot of people questioned whether he was in packs the time that they said he was released like myself, but they claimed that he was indeed in packs. Finally, to wrap this update up, they also released a new ghost collection today that includes most of the one-star ghosts that were released. If you manage to complete this collection, not only will you get all the cards that went into the collection back, but you will also receive a 2-star Ray Lewis with plus 2 to play recognition, and a 1-star Raiders Randy Moss with plus 1 to catch. Definitely wouldn't mind doing that collection for those two cards, so hopefully they decide to do a good Christmas promo to get these cards. Not guaranteeing that they decide to do anything for Christmas, but I would have to say if they did, they might do something as far as putting the Christmas puzzle pieces in silver packs, 
and somehow making the ghosts easier to pull, but I honestly have no idea if they will do anything other than releasing the remaining present collections. Again, we will just have to wait to see what happens. Hope you guys have a good Christmas. There's a possibility I may do a quick video on Christmas Day if they happen to release anything else or announce a promo, but not promising anything. I'll be spending time with the family, which I'm sure most of you will as well. This is Infamous, and I'm out. Peace.